The Belen School District is ramping up security this semester. For the first time, there will be an armed police officer at the elementary schools and middle school. News 13's Carla Sosa shows us how the officers are making an impact. With school safety becoming more of a priority across the country, Officer Kiana Garcia is now making her rounds at Belen Middle School as one of the new school resource officers. This is the first year Belen Consolidated Schools will have three resource officers throughout their schools. The Belen Police Department was able to fund one, uh, the school was able to fund a second one, and then we funded together a third one. So now we have three SROs at the schools. Talks of having multiple school resource officers started last spring. The school district says they're already seeing the benefits of having officers on campus. Just three days into the school year, Belen High School was placed on lockdown after there were reports of a possible weapon on campus. Because of our quick response, because of having an officer on, on scene at the time, we were able to quickly identify and uh, detain a suspect and we were ultimately able to find a gun which thankfully was a BB gun. Officer Sarah Martinez patrols all seven elementary schools. She says she wanted to be part of the solution, keeping students safe and now she's even getting feedback from her son. I get to interact with him and um, get to get his feedback of how he feels and his friends and it's nice because I, I build those friendships. All of the three new school resource officers went through a week training in Albuquerque. That instruction was specific to the dangers officers may face while being on school property. And that training preps you to interview kids if needed, like if they want to come and talk to you about a crime or if you start noticing behavioral changes. The cost for one officer was about $150,000. Belen Mayor Robert Noblin says everyone in city council was on board when it came to moving forward with the plan to implement the resource officers. We wanted to find the funding to make this happen. Uh, to, um, it's always in the forefront of our minds to, to put the community first and, and our students first. Carla Sosa, KRQE, News 13. The individuals from last week's incident at the high school have been charged.